everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. My throat's a little bit sore today, so I'm going to try and keep the talking down to my own. We know that's not going to happen. This is part of my amazing mail call from Brendan Walkley, Arctic Mango from Shaver Heaven. Now, I think this is Shaver Heaven's older tubs, so I think this will be a reasonably old one. Now, this is the tallow formula. It is 5.2 ounces of soap. Lovely, bright, vibrant label, Arctic Mango, one of, I believe, Shaver Heaven's most talked about and loved and favourite scents by those that enjoy or really use Shaver Heaven. This is tallow version. I did find the tallow version when I used both soaps. The tallow one was better, but I reacted to the soap that I had, and I can't remember what the soap base was, so we'll see what happens here. Pop a little bit of water in my face, and I'm going to grab the soaky water, which had the soap soaking for a very short time, just a couple of minutes before I started the video. Empty that right out, and here we go. Now I can smell the menthol straight away from the soap. I don't get much mango. So let's see what the scent's like once I actually get the brush stuck in there. Going with a bit of an Australian theme today, sort of. The razor isn't, because I don't have an Australian razor. Another cut above with Chris, made by TF Custom Shaving Brushes. You can subscribe to Tony on Facebook, on YouTube now, and watch him turning his brushes. He's got a great camera set up. He's a Scotsman. I didn't know that. He's a Scotsman. Good luck. Anyway, here we go. I've shook out the excess. This is a 28mm black and white knot. It's not a tuxedo knot. I don't know where Tony sourced this knot from. It's, it's not an old, old knot, but it's not a... Oh, this is quite... Can you see that? Ooh. This reminds me a lot of Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements Frostbite. That sort of See it? It's like goopy, gooey. Now I wasn't actually gonna to shave today. The reason that I am is because I wanted to use this. It's just as simple as that. I haven't used a shaver heaven soap for quite a long time now. I know Spencer Frankel. Yeah, look, it's a pleasant scent. I smell menthol, but I don't get mango from it. I don't know. It's so, so light on fragrance, on actual scent. I can't pick whether it's actually, I, can't, I really cannot, I'll tell you what, there's a lot of menthol in it. It's a very cooling soap. Oh. I've got a feeling this is going to be a really good lather. I'll tell you what, it's a fair lack of menthol in it. I've never tried a mentholated Shaver Heaven soap. So this is my first ever one, which is very surprising considering I love a bit of menthol. Right, I'm just gonna rinse the soap off of it. Or try, because I think I need to rinse it off. We're driving nuts. Right, I can tell you straight away this is gonna be a cold shave because I can really feel the menthol where I put that crucial lather on my skin. I can really feel it. Very, very light on scent. Let me have a sniff. I mean, there's a scent there. Had you handed that to me and said, what, what's that scent? No chance, I couldn't have told you. I could tell you there's menthol, but it's in the shave as well. So let's see how the lather goes. Let's see how the shave goes. All I'm doing here is just tipping the tip, tipping the tips, tipping the tips. 
painting Warren. This is really highly mentally. This feels very much like sterling menthol, that, that type of kick. I'm actually going to splay the brush now because there's so much soap in the knot, I'm struggling to deal with it without flipping it everywhere. It's quite a low structure lather I think it's going to be because of the menthol content. My face is freezing. Whew. This is ice cold. I can't believe the whole time I've been in Australia Wet shaving, should I say, with traditional wet shaving. I've used a lot of Shaver Heaven salts. I've never tried this mentholated salts. I can't believe how mentholated this is. I was not expecting this at all. I thought it was going to be a low structure ladder, but it's not. But it's quite a dense ladder. It's very dense. I can't, it's going all over the place. I left far too much moisture in the knot. It's running out of the base of the knot all over the handle. That's a beautiful ladder. This is freezing cold. Like, wow. This is definitely sterling cold. In fact, it's bordering glacial cold because I haven't even shaved yet and my face is freezing. Now, you can't get this anymore. You can get it on buy sell trays if you're lucky, and some people just know people. The car of Christopher Bradley Razor. Now, I've got the A plate on here today from the stainless. I've got the aluminium handle and top cap. And I've got a sixth use Wizomet Super Iridium blade in here. And let's just see how it feels. I haven't used the Wizomet in the car yet. I'm looking forward to it. I went with a mild plate today just to just really switch it up a bit. But we'll really test the Wizomet blade as well. See if I can get a close shave. With the A plate. Tell you right now, it's bloody slick. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to switch the cold water. 
I don't think the warm water is doing this shave any justice because it's freezing. Really cold. Switch it over to the cold water, which is really cold at the moment as well. We've actually got a massive storm heading our way, Western Australia. It's due to hit on Sunday and the reckoning is maybe going to be the worst, one of the worst storms I've ever encountered. And we get some pretty bad storms here. This is like an ice cube. The scent is actually very pleasant. It just doesn't evoke a lot of mango scent. It actually tastes sort of fruity and mangoey. Tell you what though, what a lather. Easy, easy lather to work with. 5.2 ounces. Brendan, thanks very much for sending it me, honestly. This is this is an absolute joy to shave with. I haven't had a reaction to it yet. Well, saying that, not that I would know because it's so freaking cold, I wouldn't know whether I've had a reaction or not. This stuff is super cold, but you can see there just how dense it is. And it's slick. Here we go, cold water across the green. The head of this razor feels like a freaking ice cube. Whew. Like really cold. I will say one thing, one thing I've noticed with the, the A plate. I do tend to buff a little bit more because it doesn't it doesn't quite get close enough. Well, it does. It's still it's still efficient. It just doesn't feel like it's getting close enough. That's what it is. It's the it's the feeling of it. There's no blade feel in the A plate, none at all. And this wizard Met blade feels fantastically smooth. Absolutely beautiful. Talking to the dogs like a little baby as well. Oh, okay. Well, do you hear me scream? Do you know what happened? No. My whole leg seized up, my whole left leg. Did it? Yep. Okay. So I'm done. Mm -hmm. That's it. I Can nick down here. Weeper. I don't even have really any here. Well, I do, but <sighs> it's freezing.
Holy shit. It's easy, easily the most comfortable against the grain pass that I think I've ever had. And it's almost BBS. Not every bit, but almost. Free dinner delivery this weekend from Menu Link. Let's go for a cold water splash. without a shadow of a doubt, one of the best shaves I've ever had. Really close, really smooth, really comfortable. The Wizenet blade, I think, ah, there's no thinking about it, it was in it number one I think. There you go, it's number one, my number one blade. That was like, it was non-existent in the razor. This is a very mild razor. Same amount of passes. Very few, a few weeks down here, but it's like a shave too far. I do find with mentholated soap sometimes that's an issue. I don't really feel the soap but the skin very well. I've used quite a few Shave of Heaven products, Shave of Heaven silks. I don't remember using one and it being that good. Now this is the tallow versions, a lot of people they won't touch the tallow ones. Post shave, the immediate post shave is brilliant. I'm trying to let that dry off a little bit while I pull up. So you can't buy this direct from Shave of Heaven anymore, it's no longer made as far as I'm aware. There might be secret people that get it but I don't know. Made by Anthony Macri, who's an awesome bloke. He went away for a little while, came back. I think he got a bit of stick. I don't know whether, I don't know who it was from, but he got a bit of stick from people. And he just pulled the pin on it completely. It just wasn't worth it for him. Sadly, this is a, an amazing product. I mean, I'm really, really amazed by it. The labels are all a bit squinty and things, but there's the, there's the ingredients list. It's a very minimalist ingredients list. Oh, we've got stearic acid, water, tallow, glycerin, coconut oil, fragrance, menthol, sodium lactate, lanolin, sucrose and silk protein. So very bare essentials of, of ingredients. But the post sheet is wonderful. I'm just gonna just add a little bit of water there, clean that off. The brush made from Tony Forsyth, it is a stunning brush. Now this is Phantom Nebula as the blank. You can still get Phantom Nebula from Tony. I think he's still, in, I'm not sure whether he still imports it in from the Master Caster in Western Australia or whether he makes it himself now, I'm not sure. But it's got a beautiful shimmer to it. As you can see, 28mm 
black and white knot. I think the handle dimensions with the knot and everything just works lovely. Beautiful. The razor, the E plate with a Wizomet blade is just out of this world. I mean, that is super smooth. It's efficient enough to get me BBS or pretty much all BBS everywhere, very, very close. You can see there, there's not a whole heap of blade gap in it. There's hardly any. But this is like 0.6 blade gap, something like that. The very similar blade gap to the Wolfman that I've got. However, this has got zero blade feel, but it's still very efficient. Whereas the Wolfman, you can really feel the blade on that 0.61 blade gap. The exposure of the blade is obviously considerably more on the Wolfman than it is with the calf. I mean, the blade exposure, I think it's actually got negative blade exposure, this one. It has. Pretty sure that's got negative blade exposure. Maybe not, but I think it has. Right, I'm just going to wet my hands. Finish off now with another Australian product that I highly recommend. AP Reserve Essentials Restoration Peptide Concentrate Serum. I know Craig Stanley of Face Fat is using this at the moment. I hope he's getting the same results as I'm getting. It's really making a difference to my post shave routine. I love the scent of it. It smells like a really nice a sweet passion fruit scent. The scent actually lingers a little bit from that serum. Oh god, I couldn't get that in my head then. But that's me done and dusted. I really enjoyed that. Thank you very much to Brendan again for sending me the soap, the soaps, uh, which I traded for the blades. I felt a bit bad actually when he sent me them because I know both the soaps that he sent me are probably in excess of $100 to actually go and buy them second hand now because they are so sort of rare. And with that, Stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. Have some cracking shaves over the weekend and I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers.